This is Banjo, and today I'm going over the autopilot known as the automatic control system found in the SU25T in DCS World. Currently selected ACS channels are displayed on the ACS panel and can be observed throughout the video. Before detailing any of the submodes of the ACS, the first feature I want to demonstrate is the ACS override, which will allow for temporary control over the aircraft while a current ACS mode is engaged. Currently, Level flight is engaged, but by engaging the ACS override, I can set up a new course, and then by releasing the ACS override, it will snap back into the previous ACS channel I had selected, in this case, automatic level flight. This is useful if you need to make a quick adjustment rather than disengaging the entire submode of the ACS. To do this, it's left alt tilt key by default, whereas to disengage the autopilot entirely, it's left alt 9. While in the en route, or return navigational modes, pressing the A or left alt 6 keys to engage the autopilot will engage route following mode, where the ACS will follow the assigned flight path from waypoint to waypoint, all the way up until the return point, at which point it will automatically enter landing mode. In this ACS mode, we're able to see on the ACS control panel both the attitude hold and route indicators are illuminated. And we're also able to see in the video as the aircraft approaches each waypoint, it will automatically adjust the pitch and bank as needed to steer it on to the next waypoint. And as the aircraft passes its final waypoint on the flight plan, we're able to see as the navigational mode changes into return, returning the aircraft to its original airfield. If the autopilot is engaged on approach to the runway while in the landing navigational mode, again by using the A or left alt 6 keys, the ACS mode will enter landing mode. The landing ACS mode will hold the aircraft on the landing aerodrome's glide slope beacon to the best of its abilities and is typically switched off between 150 to 200 meters on a normal approach, where at this point you would go in for a manual landing. In this submode, both the attitude and land indicators are illuminated on the ACS control panel. When using the ACS landing mode in zero visibility or otherwise poor conditions, you can disengage it at a much lower altitude than you generally would. At this point, I'm disengaging it somewhere around 50 meters as the fog layer did not clear until roughly about 70 meters. The next function of the ACS is the combat steering mode, which is entered by enabling the autopilot with the A or left alt 6 keys while in the air-to-ground navigational mode with the target locked. The aircraft will use bank and pitch to steer onto the locked target bearing, maintaining its initial altitude. By using the ACS override, pitch control can be returned to the pilot momentarily until the ACS override is released. Upon target loss while in the combat steering mode, the ACS will automatically enter emergency leveling mode. Emergency leveling mode, which is activated by pressing left alt 3, will cause the ACS to stabilize the aircraft to straight level flight from any initial altitude. When bank angle exceeds 80 degrees, as seen in this example, the ACS control is applied first to roll and then to pitch. The next function of the ACS I'll demonstrate is attitude hold, which is enabled by pressing the left alt and 1 keys and indicated on the ACS control panel by just the attitude hold indicator. The ACS will hold the current levels of pitch and bank up to limits of 60 degrees bank, 35 degrees pitch, as well as 15 degrees angle of attack in 0 to 3 Gs. Other functions of the ACS include barometric altitude hold by pressing the H or left alt 4 keys, as well as radar altitude hold by pressing the left alt and 5 keys, these modes need no demonstration as they do exactly as their name implies, but the final mode I'll demonstrate is the barometric altitude and bank angle hold, where the ACS will stabilize the current pressure altitude and angle of bank. 
indicated by attitude and altitude hold on the ACS control panel, and enabled by pressing the left alt and two keys. This mode is useful for setting up continuous orbits or otherwise making continuous level turns.